Hi there, welcome to Grain TV. It's Monday, October 26th. We had a mixed day with a lot of volatility in grains. Let's take a look at the Grain Hedge trading platform and see where we close the day. Corn closed the day four and three quarters cents higher, while soybeans was off ten and a half cents, and wheat up an astonishing eighteen and a half cents, closing well above five dollars for the first time in the last week. Wheat was really sort of a surprise out of the gate, showing some strength uh, from some of the weather concerns that we've been talking about for a while. People were looking for more rain out of Hurricane Patricia that's coming into the U.S to drift up into the plains, but mostly it stayed south this weekend, uh, certainly drenching a lot of Texas, but those rains just did not move past the uh, Red River area into Oklahoma and Kansas. And so I think the market was a little disappointed in that. In addition, we continue to have uh, some lingering concerns with Ukraine and Russia, where dry and uh, cold are sort of causing some issues uh, with winter wheat planting there. So overall, you know, a, a very small stimulus to sort of get this market excited, but it did drive it uh, above $5. Looking at the technical daily chart here, you can see we're around 510 on the close. You know, up above this, you know, I'm looking at that moving average, it's around 518. I think it's going to be really hard in today's fundamental environment to see us start a really long-term trend here and take out that 518. But watch for that in the next few days, see if we can make it up there uh, and potentially test that overhead resistance. Let's take a look at some of the other news. This morning was export inspections from USDA. This too was a mixed bag, although contrary to where we traded today, soybeans actually had another very positive week coming in with 2.6 million metric tons of inspections for the week, well above trade expectations of 1.8 to 2.1. Corn, yet again another disappointing week coming in below expectations at 413,000 metric tons. And then wheat just somewhere on the low end of expectations. In addition to this export uh, data we got from USDA, we also got yet another announcement that China bought 120,000 metric tons of U.S. soybeans. So we continue to see very, very strong uh, soybean demand, but it has done little to uh, wave this market out of its sort of bear funk, if you will. You know, let's take a look at sort of longer term where we're trading uh, for exports and what you can see, year-to-date exports for corn are off 26% versus this same time last year. That's problematic because USDA is only looking for a slight 1% drop year on year in exports. So we are well behind pace. Now, you know, we will pick up some of that pace once uh, Brazil season uh, starts to dry up and they no longer are competing against us. But right now it's just, it's a very uh, lethargic pace. Soybeans on the other hand, we're looking for a 9% drop in the year for USDA, but we are actually 16% ahead. And then wheat also on the downside at an 18% below last year pace versus uh, 0% uh, from USDA. Turning again to corn, we had some late, uh, late news coming after the market closed that I think is very disappointing, and that is that there was an announcement by uh, some traders out of Brazil that Bungie is going to be moving grain from Brazil, from co or corn from Brazil into Wilmington, North Carolina, and that's particularly problematic. We usually see some movement later in the season, but to see it in the midst of our harvest, that's you know really sort of reflecting just the the problems we're having with the strong U.S. dollar, the weakness in the Brazilian currency, and how that's really changing the dynamics of international grain trade. When we're moving grain into uh, the Port of Wilmington there on North Carolina to feed the uh, livestock sector at a time of harvest. That, in my opinion, spells some problems here. Turning to the U.S. Uh, harvest progress, we got USDA telling us that corn is 75% harvested, beans at 87%, yet another good week. You know, we're pretty much reaching the tail end of uh, the harvest season. We did see some pretty strong moves in basis, especially by some soy crushers. Uh, you know, follow us on Grain TV, uh, on Twitter at Grain TV to get some of those updates on basis moves. And, um, you know, by all means, take a, take a trading platform demo at GrainHedge.com. That's all we got for today. Have a great night, and we'll see you tomorrow.